Dan here from Norton Tesla. Planning a road trip? You'll need this app. I was talking to a friend recently who was telling me about his upcoming trip to Akaj. It would be his first trip in his Model X and he was a bit concerned about charging. Now, as I've said a million times on this channel, road trips are super easy with the supercharging network. The only situation which could present some complications is if there's no superchargers near your destination or even worse, there's no charging options whatsoever. It might not be as much of an issue in the US, but up here in Canada and I'm sure other parts of the world, the supercharging network isn't as robust. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible. You'll just need to plan a little more. And with summer road trip season finally upon us, why don't I show you something that could really help you out? And if it's your first time here, take a second and subscribe. So in my friend's situation, you can tell here, this is cottage country in Northern Ontario. And there is a few superchargers uh, here, 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 and here. But if your cottage is say here, then we have a bit of a problem because what you want to do is figure out if you're driving up here, figure out that supercharger, so your cottage, back to that supercharger, and see how much range you need to do all of that. When it comes to planning, using the Tesla navigation has its shortcoming. With the lack of waypoints, it makes it hard to plan such a trip. Now on the Tesla website, there's actually a trip planner which does have waypoints, but what I'm gonna show you is a bit more intense and has more options. It's called a better route planner. Same concept as a better theory, which I covered earlier. It's just a simple add-on that just improves upon what Tesla is doing. It's available as a mobile app and desktop website. Here's a browser version that I'm gonna show you. So here we are at abetterroutplanner.com. Uh, first off, I'm gonna show you on the right here, you can actually log in and uh, save your drives, so you save your trips, so you can always have them handy, as well as uh, connect to your car. So it has your information from your car, like the watts per kilometers, as well as your current range. Uh, so logging in is always a good idea. Now the way it works here, and this is, uh, this is obviously the uh, desktop browser, but the mobile app works just the same. You can have your starting points, your destination. Uh, you can add different waypoints in between. If you go here in settings, uh, you wanna see your, what you're gonna leave at, uh, how much charge you're gonna have at your destination, and then so forth. And you can have some notes if you want. Uh, same with starting point, how much you're gonna leave at, what you're gonna be doing. And uh, the major, what really difference between Tesla and uh, this is in your settings here. So you have your car model, you can choose any EV. Uh, there's a whole bunch. Uh, departure S uh, state of charge. Uh, so what you plan on leaving at, your reference consumption, what kind of battery, what kind of fast charges you wanna do. Uh, you can also say if the chargers are available, never preferences, let's just flow or electric America or whatever you plan on using. Um, and here's another thing, what you're comfortable getting to at. If you're, if 10% is too low for you, uh, set it back up to like 20 or so. And how much battery duration you have, it's hard to estimate, but most people are at five or between five and 10. Uh, how fast you plan on going, uh, road conditions, weather, obviously all these things are very important with EVs. And then you wait. So it really goes really in depth on how you can go. So let's just plan a trip here. So let's do Toronto, uh, up to the cottage, and uh, let's go at a waypoint and back home so that we have an idea of how to properly charge. So here we go, we are leaving at 90. We're gonna get to our destination at 44. And then to get back, we are going to uh, drive to the Pickering supercharger and get there at 10%, charge a bit, and it's gonna cost you $2 for five minutes, and then back home for 20%. If you know you don't have a charger at your destination, you can see here in this example, you get here at 44%. You're gonna to get to your supercharger at 10%. So knowing that difference is that if you plan on driving while you're there and you don't have a charger around, you know how much you're wiggle room you have to play with. So if you leave at 100, then you'll have around 10% extra to play with. So these are all things to consider. Uh, the other cool feature here is at your destination, if you wanna click here, you can add uh, amenities around here. So you can see what do you want? You can stay for an hour, how far you wanna walk, uh, what kind of food you want. Uh, there's restaurants, hotel, and shopping. Uh, so very cool features. 
And uh, I definitely highly recommend this app and site. So there you go. If you're planning a trip this summer with your Tesla or any EV for that matter, check out a better route planner. It'll definitely make the process a lot easier. And as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next week.